What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to talk about creating an open VPN server on Amazon Web Services to make it seem like your computer traffic is coming from America or London or Paris or basically anywhere that AWS has a data center. So it's gonna give you that IP address of wherever you are in the world, depending on what you pick here. So first and foremost, you need an AWS account to do this. Uh, and then once you've created one, you want to go to EC2 and we're gonna create an EC2 virtual server in the cloud. So once you're in the EC2 dashboard, you want to pick where you want to come from. So if you want to have a US server, you want one of these, or if you want uh, to be in Singapore, you wanna click this one, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. I'm gonna go with this US East Ohio. Uh, so my IP address is gonna act like it's coming from Ohio. So this is good for when you're trying to access websites that are geo-restricted. So uh, maybe a US website that doesn't allow anyone but US visitors to have a look at the website. It's good for if your home IP address is blocked for some reason so you can change IP and uh, yeah it's just good for general testing so firstly once you're in the EC2 dashboard go to launch instance and in this box here we want to go with open VPN and then click on the AWS marketplace so we want to use the free tier as much as possible so we don't have to pay money for this so we're going to go open VPN access server the free tier select that and on the next step just press continue. Uh, just a note here. So if you if you go past the free limits, this is how much it's going to be. Um, it's ridiculously cheap if you if you do go over the limits, but it's very unlikely that you will. So it should be free for you, especially if you choose this option, which is the T2 Micro free tier eligible. Just go ahead and launch that. That's going to ask you for a key pair. So this is how you're going to log into the server using SSH. Uh, you probably won't have an existing key pair unless you've used AWS before. Um, so you're going to need to make one. So create a new key pair. I'm going to call this OpenVPN. And just go ahead and download that key pair and place it into um, wherever you want to save it. You then want to use uh, Putty Keygen. And if you don't have this, it's in the description and just load that key file into PyKeyGen. And you can add a passphrase to this key. So when you try and log in with SSH, you have to give the password, but for this tutorial, I'm just not gonna use a password because it's easier. And you wanna go ahead and save the private key into the same directory. And I'm just gonna call this open. and you'll see that the private key has now been saved here. So that's what we're gonna to use to log into the server using SSH. So we can get rid of that now. Once you've downloaded it and done that, just launch the instance. And what that's gonna do now is set up all the, uh, the virtual machine and the networking and everything that uh, AWS needs to do to make this box internet routable and uh, make it so you can access it. So go ahead and view your instances and you can see that's pending at the moment. So I'll just come back once that's not pending. Okay, so we can see that's now running. We've got an IP address. So we're just gonna copy that, open up Putty, and pop the IP address into here. Uh, I always like to save the session, so you know I don't have to redo this every time. So we'll just call this OpenVPN, and save that. That shows up in here. Um, we made the key earlier, so just open up SSH, go to auth, and pop that key in here. Go back to session and just save that again. And then we can go ahead and open VPN. If you get a, uh, a warning message, just go ahead and accept that. And then we want to log in as root for this to start with to set up the open VPN. That uses your key to log in. If you've added a password, that's this is the time where you're gonna need to use it. And as you can see, we are now in. So we just need to go ahead and click yes on that or type in yes. That just uh, accepts the terms and conditions. And then everything here, we can just go ahead and accept the defaults for. And then that starts the configurations. Once this is done, the root user is no longer required and you're gonna have to log in as the open VPN AS user, which we will do now so close that off go back to your saved 
party session, open. Log in as open VPN AS. Uses the key again, same key. And what we want to do now is we need to set the password for the open VPN user. So just do sudo passwd open VPN. That'll ask you to give it a password. And this is for the web interface, which is what we're going to log into now that we've just given the web interface user a password. So use that IP address again. Go to the IP address with 943 and it's gonna be HTTPS and that will bring up the administration panel for OpenVPN. We want to use the OpenVPN user that we just changed the password for. Agree to terms and conditions. Go to VPN settings. Your routing, so should client internet traffic be routed through the VPN? Click yes. So when you connect to this open VPN, all of your traffic on your computer is gonna be routed through this VPN so it looks like you're coming from the location that you've picked in AWS. We also want to have it so we use specific DNS servers. I'm just gonna use 1111 and 8888. Always good to use different DNS servers, so that's Google and uh, Cloudflare, I believe. Update the running server. And that, in essence, is the OpenVPN server created in AWS. So all you need to do now is download the OpenVPN Connect uh, application and just go ahead and pop in that IP address. This application URL, by the way, was in the description if you want to download it, accept this. The username is going to be what we've just used, so OpenVPN and the password that you gave that. And then go ahead and import the profile, accept it again. And now we've got a profile. So we can see that my IP address at home is currently this. So now we need to turn on the open VPN proxy, use the password again that you've already created that we just imported with, and you'll see that this profile is now turned on. So that means our computer is now routing through the AWS server that we've just created. So that means all traffic that we do on the internet, so connecting to websites or port scanning or anything like that, is gonna route through that AWS server that we've just created because we're connected. So if I go ahead and just refresh this IP address, should change to the server address uh, in AWS, which was the 18.188.168.142, which it has. So my IP address is now this. So that means we've now bypassed any IP restrictions. Say if your IP address has got blocked, we can now use websites as if we are an American uh, in an American location, so that bypasses geo restrictions. And it's just a really good way to get around any restrictions that you uh, are facing with uh, doing pen testing or anything or anything like that that requires it. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a good way to do that. And you can also have a look at my SOX proxy video, which is a bit simpler than this if you don't need such a, a bloated um, method of doing this. So for example, if you don't need the whole computer routed over the AWS uh, machine, you only need your HTTP traffic, for example. Anyway, that's how to create an open VPN profile and in AWS. I hope you learned something there and thanks for watching.